Okay guys, welcome to my new video. In this video, we are going to be talking about Orion Protocol, as you guys can see right here. Um, while it loads, as you guys may know, um, we are going to be talking about whether this is looking like it wants to be crashing, or pumping, or potentially reaching its final targets, which is potentially going to be even higher than where it is right now. So stay tuned, there's a lot of people out there that are very skeptical about, you know, this cryptocurrency project, because it has actually been dropping and dropping and dropping, and it's, instead of doing a positive 10x, it's done a negative 10x, which is um, very frustrating to see, since there was a lot of holders out there that were invested into this project, and it has caused a lot of um, weird things within the project that has caused the price to be dropping and dropping and dropping a lot of influences as well which have caused also the price to be constantly dropping which is very annoying to say the least and as of right now you know we can only expect that this project can you know start to be having that bullish momentum higher which is what we actually want to be seeing because if that does occur then that would be extremely bullish and you know that would definitely be great to you know be seeing higher prices on this cryptocurrency project and that would be exactly what what we would actually want to be seeing so as of right now if you do go to the charts as you guys can see right here if i just click on here and then there you go so this is the charts the monthly time frame starts from here it does seem like we are starting to have that bullish momentum just because of bitcoin you know bitcoin is finally showing us a nice bullish sign for you know the cryptocurrency ecosystem and that is looking pretty good and to say the least i would say that as of right now it could be the start of a massive bull run but we still need to kind of have a consistent couple of weeks where we do see that massive um, extrapolated pumps because before guys from what we can see here, you know, the first five, um, yeah, five weeks, we were having that nice pump. As of right now, we are in the third week. So yeah, we may require some more weeks before we actually do get a confirmation of bullish prices. But I can say that as of right now, it is looking quite interesting to see what actually does happen next. Because even though we don't actually reach them bullish prices, we could have a, a delayed consolidation before we do start to be moving higher and projection moving higher. As you can see right here, we've actually, you know... Um, close very very high um above the 50 day moving average this could possibly be the start to a you know a big bull run i'm hoping it does but keep in mind guys we did previously see these consecutive bullish candles and then we just saw that massive drop down again so i'm hoping this is not one of the manipulations that does tend to happen because a lot of people you know kind of buy and dump it as well because you know the market um is run by buying and selling pressure, especially for Orn. If someone bought $10 million worth of Orn, you are going to be seeing that on the charts. And uh, unfortunately, we can't really help that. And uh, there, there are a lot of people that are trying to get rid of their cryptocurrencies because, you know, they have been seeing this cryptocurrency constantly be dumping and dumping and dumping. And they are thinking to themselves that they are better off just, you know, holding other cryptocurrencies because, you know, if anyone that's been holding cryptocurrencies for so long, you know, you can lose motivation and it can be kind of a... A, ditra, a uh, not so good experience. I was trying to think of a fancy word to say there, but yeah, it, it, it may not be a very good experience, especially when you're used to seeing that the cryptocurrency projects, you know, m most of the time end up pumping, but when they do dump for quite some time, many people just want to be selling, even though if it's at a loss or at a small gain, which, you know, that has caused a lot of people to reach that breaking point, unfortunately. And uh, yeah, that is where we are right now. And I could potentially, you know, um, show you guys some bullish formations as you can see here we have got this four hour time frame we are above all of the moving averages once we do cross here that would be a nice confirmation of bullishness this however is extremely bullish and i would say that we could start to continue to move higher i do think that you know this is not just going to be rejected i do want to see us maybe reject lower and then start to move up higher again that would be perfectly great to be seeing that however as of right now you know we are kind of difficult to say where we want to be heading to next because currently the cryptocurrency ecosystem is currently full of manipulation even though bitcoin is looking like it wants to be pumping as of right now because bitcoin is actually drawing a lot of prices to be higher we are seeing a lot of um a nice little trend line up here because if, you, if if i just show you guys where the trend line is forming from this swing low for actually we can draw it out from here to be fair there you go this nice little um trend line it has been drawn out we've got like a nice little wedge from this high to that high i'm just going to draw that out for you guys so you can actually see that it might start from here actually if I just draw it out a little bit from this high, or it could be from this high. 
which could have it caused the extrapolated move higher. As you can see, a simple break and retest. We've broken out of that. We've broken out of that. We didn't really retest it. So this was like a wedge, a nice little triangle that we've broken out. And it is looking quite nice and bullish as of right now. I do hope that we can consistently stay up there because as of right now, it is looking quite interesting to where, what actually does happen next. I do think that we could get up to 50k. If we can continue this bullish momentum, I'm hoping it does because that would be quite bullish for crypto. And yeah, um... I will be giving you guys more and more updates as to what actually does happen next for crypto and on as well. Stay tuned. This is not financial advice. Always do your own research and peace.